Hi guys, it's time for a power bank review again and this one is with a solar panel and a flashlight. The supplier said that uh, this is a 20 amp hour power bank but actually uh, after some testing uh, I did some uh, charging, discharging, charging, discharging and it eventually came out to be uh, according to this uh, little meter in capacity for 5 volts at least uh, something like 5.7 when discharging and uh, I think 6.7 when charging which is actually uh, in practice if you consider that uh, it's not actually inside 5 volts but 3.7 battery and uh, then uh, charging capacity of the battery inside would be something like 10 uh, amp hours and discharging uh, something like 6.3 uh, so but considering the voltage of uh, actual voltage of the battery so uh, it has a solar panel uh, uh, two, two output ports uh, allegedly it should charge at two, two amps but uh, I was able to put in it only 1.3 not sure if that's because of the charger because the charger uh, uh, is compatible with my phone and it can charge up to uh, I think uh, 3 amps so I think that the, 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 the drill uh, problem is the char charging circuitly uh, and a uh, little on off switch which also uh, starts the flashlight it has few modes this is actually SOS mode if you can see this, it's it's a Morse code for SOS, and and the third mode just strobing. So not not sure if that would be actually helpful. Uh, maybe if you have a rave in the forest, but it doesn't put up much light. Uh, if you take a look right here, right. I mean it's okay if it's really dark. Uh, I will take a look uh, how much power does it take. So double press to switch on the flashlight and uh, switch to the modes and I think long press uh, should uh, yeah uh, so double press will uh, sometimes it, it, it doesn't function as expected to be honest yeah, let's see double press yeah uh, enables one press okay one press switches modes and double press double press should enable disable so so that's fine uh, it also activates the output so okay so uh, let's just open it uh, let me show you the battery inside so I will start from this side maybe and a bit from this side the solar panel is only clipped in and oh yeah, uh, what I forgot to mention, uh, you will notice that it is char charging uh, a bit uh, using a solar panel if the uh, green LED will lit up. So that won't happen because we, I don't have enough light here, but I will show you in a moment what I mean exactly. But uh, mind you that uh, it will lit up even if solar panel generates about uh, 2 volts and it should generate about 6 to uh, bring the, basically the uh, charging voltage up to uh, the battery voltage okay so well, let me switch that uh, it's a 8 uh, amp hour battery so pretty standard stuff you should be able to replace it as you can see there is a lot of space here but uh, it doesn't have any protection the, the battery itself there are some chips over here if you are curious I can zoom in and maybe you should be able to read all the details on the chips yeah let's try this okay it should focus correctly now so it's pretty much standard circuitry uh, there is a button over here uh, the uh, solar panel leads, battery leads and uh, the LED uh, in the front so uh, what I want to check is the uh, current from the solar panel, maximal current 
the current of the LEDs, so we will guess the voltage of those LEDs. Uh, and uh, generally speaking, when I tested using the uh, the little meter, the output uh, I think was a, a bit above one uh, amp uh, fr from this battery. So. Well, but that, that's pretty standard, especially that uh, this power bank uh, was costing about, I think, $8 or something like that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it seems that it's pretty recent model from 2018, uh, from June. Um, what else? Okay, so let, let me disconnect leads and we will measure the currents. Okay, so you should be able to see I have a light bulb over here. Here is my meter on the volts and 5.3. Okay, so it's probably a 6 volt uh, solar panel. Yeah, something like this. And let's check the current. I mean, I will firstly check on the uh, higher, um, higher range. So let me just switch it over. Okay, so on the high range, let's see the current that it, it, the green LED lit up, but there is barely any current going on through the... Uh, that's, that's weird. Let me check again. Yeah, almost no current. So the green LED lit up. And there is almost no current going through. Let, let, let's go to the lower range and test again. Okay, so on milliamp range, let me check the current. 2.8, three milliamps. Okay, let's let's move a little further away. Yeah, three milli. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, either the uh, it takes a lot of, I mean the the load is high, or this panel is completely shit. Okay, so if I move the panel a bit, I will test. So, uh, I will test a little bit, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so after trying a long, long time with this uh, with this 15 watt CFL. I have over here, I was able to get almost 4 milliamps, so presumably the panel is rated maybe 5 in, in very, uh, well, if, if you have a lot of sunlight, uh, it's, it's not really impressive. And uh, I, I went outside, we have overcast day today, and I was able to only get 1.5 milliamps, so basically absolutely nothing. Uh, they, I, it's possible that they mess the panel uh, using this uh, by, by adding this layer. I tried to peel it up, but it's not possible. So, well, that, that's it, guys. <laughs> it, it's really pointless. But it works, yeah. Uh, but it would take, uh, well, I think at uh, 5.3 5, 5 volts at 4 milliamps. Uh, so uh, let me just count this. 0.2 watt uh, per hour. This battery is 29.6 hours. So uh, let's see, 20. It's a let, let's say 30. So uh, 30 divided by 0.2 is 150 hours of direct sunlight to charge this battery. So yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> if, if you live anywhere uh, that it's not sunny on the daily basis, the, the solar panel is completely pointless. Now a quick look at the current uh, that LED takes. Let's see. Okay. So 80, yeah, something like that. Let, let me change the range. Alright, so let's try again and it's yeah 81 milliamp. Uh, let's see, yeah. Blinking, the strobing. Okay, once more. 80 but at uh, 
let me solder this and check the voltage on the LED it runs at 3.1 volts that that's pretty really low but okay uh, so 80 milliamps times 3.1 uh, volts that's uh, well quarter of a watt uh, these are very cold white LEDs so you can see here uh, they are quite cold and not not really that bright but should be enough uh, the good thing is that for example this battery has uh, almost 30 uh, watt hours so uh, that would be uh, 120 hours of the, those LEDs running so that, that, that should be pretty nice so so uh, that's quite okay generally speaking it's an okay power bank it could be a bit cheaper because basically solar panel doesn't do anything and uh, the LEDs are okay they're, they're pretty fine during the night uh, and also should last you a uh, few nights uh, so so that, that, that's really nice uh, but I wanted to show you this little solar panel that I it, it's a glass one if you take a closer look yeah you should be able to see that this is a glass and uh, I took it out from the solar uh, sol solar solar light basically and uh, check the current it can provide and let me show you <laughs> 12 point well 12.5 uh, basically and it was at 2.6 uh, um, volts so uh, basically half of the voltage of this one but uh, if this was 4 milli and this is 12 or 12 so three three times uh, as much current uh, being I don't know one twentieth of, of of this size so uh for for the same voltage one tenth of this size uh, i have no idea why they put the solar panel with such low performance as this one um it, it's it's pretty standard so you, you saw the back of the solar panel i may be able to replace it because th this is a standard size but i'm worried that uh, everywhere I saw the solar panel it had uh, the same kind of finish so it, it isn't really uh, any kind of glass or uh, transparent plastic so it's a bit, uh, a bit weird so <laughs> for the solar panel I uh, absolutely do not recommend and uh, let me just do a quick sh uh, a demo I will light the LEDs LED on my phone and you should be able to see a green light uh, come come on uh, on on in here somewhere yeah let's see yeah and th this means that there is about two volts and half milliamp on output and basically there is no charging going on actually so um, I will probably test it during the summer but th I don't expect much from this uh, in terms of performance I may try to buy uh, a little USB solar panel and check it out then hopefully it will be much better uh, to be honest if they went with something like this this would be a really nice power bank uh, and would be surely worth the money even though they lied about the battery capacity but well there you go guys uh, make sure uh, that you subscribe uh, if you like uh, reviews like this uh, I will be thinking about this little solar panel and maybe some kind of little boost circuitry but uh, we will see in the future or maybe uh, put them in the series and then charge this should be sh sh should be a good idea because uh, then I will be able to uh, charge any kind of uh, USB power bank at Milli. That, that, that's pretty okay especially considering the size of this uh, oh yeah 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 one more thing if you recall these uh, the uh, soldering iron uh, I, I, I checked it the, the USB one I checked it with this power bank and this is the only power bank uh, because it, it has a little I mean power saving quirk 
So when you are not moving it for some time, uh, the red light, uh, the red LED goes out and uh, it stops uh, heating the the uh, the iron uh, at the end. And uh, it, this is the only power bank that is capable uh, to wake itself up. So uh, the blue LEDs will light up again and will uh, when you shake this so there is always some uh, current on the output and uh, when when the blue leds are off it doesn't really mean that there are uh, that the power bank is completely off it means that uh, it entered a low current uh, basically low, low current mode so uh, it, it's really nice I, I like this feature of this power bank and this is the only one Probably they, they have a, some kind of new circuitry here, so that and, and that does the trick. So as you can see, the red uh, LED went out and there is no lights. And when I shake this, uh, it it all comes back on again. So th this one is really a nice feature. So I will be probably using this with this soldering iron. So thanks for watching, guys.